Camille underscore two cup merely two interviews one day I got my big dog little Don in the building little Don <laughs> we here man we just kicking it man so what's good man how you been man I'm blessed man you yeah know, a long way from where I came from out here grinding doing open mic so you know just to even be in this building right now is amazing Man, come on, talk to me a little down, man. Tell these people who might not know where you from and, and you know how you started. Let's just go from there. Let's just go. Where you from in Atlanta? Uh, Are you from Atlanta? Yeah, I'm from Atlanta. I'm from the uh, east side, Gresham Road. Gresham? Yeah, Gresham. So your zone yeah. six? Yeah, for real. So, for real. okay, so you know the 21s, the young nudies? Oh, man, you know, I grew up with nudies and them. You know, we yeah. all went to Mac now. We all went to the same school. Oh, you went to Matt now? Yeah. He went to Matt now, went to Southwest. I'm going to say, that's how we do it. Callum yeah, Rovins, play Callum football, Rose. baseball, yeah. basketball, that Gresham <laughs> Park. So, we good. If you're from Atlanta, you know exactly what we're talking about. South Carolina, all that. All right, man. Yeah. Hey, put that on that. <laughs> so, <laughs> how, you start, how you start getting into this music? Like, what made you say, okay, uh, I'm finna really start rapping? Oh, uh, man, I started writing poetry first. Like, poetry was how I started. I would like, never thought poetry. Like, yeah, I, I always used to write poetry. Like, I didn't even know where rap was. Like, yeah. You know, I was writing poetry. And my older brother had let me hear uh, Pop, Dear Mom. Yeah. You know, because at that time, we was facing some some problems with our mom. You mm -hmm. know, so, like, that song really helped me. So I was like, oh, man, like, he rapping about his mom. He rapping about his life. Like, I could do this. Because mm -hmm. I'm already writing poetry. All I got to do is, like, change it and mm -hmm. put it on the beat so Facts. that's how i started rapping you know like that, that way made me start rapping it's just going crazy yeah. where the name Lil donna come from it's just me just being the little guy in the hood like mm -hmm. i was just the smallest guy like i'm everybody tall everybody bigger than me like i'm just a little guy you know mm -hmm. so it was just like put a little in front of your name you mm -hmm. know that's what everybody do yeah oh, you know man, like, man, that's I, I, I little mean, is the thing you know don't we in like, the same boat don't <laughs> even trip don't even trip <laughs> So tell me like now, so when did you like, okay, so start doing poetry, then you start rapping. So when did you first go to like a studio, you know, or did you even go to a studio when you first made your I first was, record? I was recording at a house on a $10 microphone from Walmart. Mm -hmm. uh, like we used to, we had the microphone hanging on the wall. We took a nail, nailed it in the wall. Like yeah. it's a true story. We was recording on some program, I think it was called I forget, I think Audacity or something. Mm -hmm. like, it was something, it was some program that we was using on yeah. the $10 microphone. Recorded all our songs like that. Was hitting open mics and stuff like that. Like, uh -huh. it just, with raw music, sound horrible. How like was, <laughs> so how was that? Give me the experience, give me the story. Going doing open mics, like, just really start over. Like, how did you feel doing open mics when don't nobody know your words? Or they just kind of staring at you. How was your open mic experience? It was always me being myself. When I perform, I like going to a tunnel vision, so I really don't even see nothing. My only thing going to open mic was I can't afford no clothes or no shoes, so how is they finna accept me? Mm. Like, how how is they finna look at this bummed out little kid up here rapping? You know, like, mm -hmm. but it's crazy because my music replaced how I look. Yeah. So everybody respected my music so much that they didn't even care what I had on. Man, so let's talk about that first. Your first record that just went crazy. That that's how I caught wind because I didn't know who you were, but all the women was like, "Play a little dumb, a little dumb." When yeah. those records <laughs> came on, they was saying it word. Not the women and the dudes couldn't do nothing but be like, "Oh, this is hard." Yeah. Like the, all the man, everywhere I went, they was playing your record from the strip clubs to the clubs to the lounges to the hookah lounges. Everywhere. So tell me how that felt when that song, and just tell, give people the name of the song for the people that been up on the rock, you know, that whole <laughs> night. Uh, Do Better, man. Do Better. Do Better is like, it was just like a transition of trying to put some positive energy in the community. Yeah. You know, give women something. Because when you listen to music now, all you hear is disrespect for women. Right. She ain't this, she ain't that, she mm -hmm. a thot, she a freak, she a, you feel me? So yeah. it was like, Man, who gonna say something nice for women? I love women. Yeah. You did. Like, women made me. I was raised by women. Women take care of me. Yeah. You know, like, so when I was in the streets and I was struggling, like, women looked out for me. Mm -hmm. You know, so it's like, man, like, let me show some love to the women, to the women. You know, so that was the whole gesture. I had a friend who was going through a situation. She kept talking to me about it. I made the song for her. It was never even meant to go out as a song. Like, you know, it was never supposed to be a single. It was just for her per se. Like, right, hey, it's for you. Like, mm -hmm. listen to it. I hope it helps. Yeah, you know. And one of my buddies, Big Walt, was like, 
and it's hard. Yeah. Put it out. Let's just see what it do. Yeah. Put it out on Valentine's Day. You know, being yeah. petty. Yeah. You know, like, yeah, we finna hurt some feelings. Like, <laughs> y'all, some of y'all finna get left today. Yeah, <laughs> fast. Yeah. So we put it out on Valentine's Day, being petty, and went crazy. So give, give me your, what's your favorite line on that, on Do Better? My, my favorite line on that is, oh, you need a real boss in your corner to help you pay some of them bills. Ooh, what you made that your favorite line? Because, like, a lot of people, women, deal with dudes who ain't doing nothing. Mm-hmm. Try their car. Yeah. Ain't helping with nothing. Fact. You know, you feel what I'm saying? It's the difference between a man not helping with nothing because he can't, mm-hmm. but he trying. Right. And a man just actually came to live at your house because he ain't got nowhere to live. Right. Drive your car because he ain't going to never get no car. Yeah. You know, borrow your, your check money, you mm-hmm. know, because he ain't going to never have no paper. Come on. It's a difference, you know, so... Like, when you're a boss, when you're dealing with a woman, you help out, you look out, you take care. Like, mm-hmm. that's what men do. Yeah. So, give me, like, let people know about what the name of the mixtape that you just dropped in 2018. Oh, man, the mixtape. Like, this like this mixtape is important to me you uh-huh. know, because my team put a lot of work into it. You know, it's a lot of my heartfelt emotions, you know, and it, it, it describes who I am right now. So, who are you? I'm, I'm, As a now, 2018. Well, right now, like with all that I've been through, mm-hmm. Heart Cold was like the perfect topic. Yeah. Know, like because I lost my grandma, mm-hmm. I lost my nephew, I lost my mom. Wow. My fiance cheated on me. You know, like. So my, you was my, engaged? My, yeah, you? my homies left me. You yeah. know, like it was like once I lost my deal, like I lost a lot of people. Mm-hmm. You know, and then not including the people that I lost to death. So right now, my heart is at a state where it's just, you know, like I don't really have emotion for a lot of stuff, mm-hmm. unless it's positive. Yeah. You know? Like, so that's just where I'm at. That's why I named the Project Heart Cold. And when you hear the music, you gonna hear who I am, what I've been through, what I'm going through, mm-hmm. and my life situation. Mm-hmm. So this year been kind of rough. Oh, oh yeah. No, nah, it, it's, it's been a real hard year and a great year. And okay. it's, it's crazy because, like, I lost so many people. What made it so great? My children. Good. Like, yeah, you know, like just my children smiling every day, yeah. happy, can go to school with the stuff that I didn't go to school mm-hmm. with. They they can have whatever they want and need. That Christmas is gonna be wonderful. Mm-hmm. You know, it's just to see the happiness on my kids' face and to be able to look out for my family the way that I want to. Yeah, but, like me, I'm I'm not fully happy. You yeah. Know? Because I'm dealing with so much mental. Yeah. You know, and it, it take it take a real man to admit that. You mm-hmm. know, like. Yeah, my life is good. Like, I can go eat if I want to eat. Because yeah. I remember times when I couldn't. Yeah. You know, ain't, ain't nothing like being able to open your refrigerator and grab whatever you want. Right. You know, because mm-hmm. when you when I came up, it was like, you got to wait till everybody eat to eat. Because we want enough. We want to make sure everybody yeah. eat. Right. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You know, like, when I was growing up, my mom left us in an abandoned house. You know, you know, rest in peace. I love it to death. You know. And we had to like go to the store and like steal our food, you know, just to survive. So it was like to come from that and to just wake up every morning and be like, I'm in this nice big house that Tony helped me get. You know, I appreciate you when no, you told shout out to you know, like uh, and be able to just eat when I want to, you know, sleep in my big old bed, you mm-hmm. know, walk outside and don't hear a gunshot. You yeah, know, just you know, so that's the part of my life that's good, mm-hmm. but. As far as like family, people, and relationship wise, musically, you know, losing your grandmother, your mom, uh, fiance, um, like is that's gonna be in your music? Is that are we gonna hear that? Oh man, it's definitely there. Yeah, like it's definitely there because I don't hide none of my issues. Mm-hmm. And that was my my grandma used to always get on me about that when we, when I was coming up, and she used to be like, "You always telling all your business." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I, you know, like, and I I used to be like. I'm, I, I'm expressing myself. Right. You know, after a while, she understood it. Because mm-hmm. it's like my therapy. Yeah. Like, how can somebody lose their nephew to suicide, their grandmother to cancer, yeah. their mom to uh, uh, alcohol, mm-hmm. and still be able to keep moving and yeah. know, take care of their family and, and do music mm-hmm. and be out here and keep a smile on their face and put smiles on other people's face. Right. Music. Yeah. And music saved my life mm-hmm. every time. It was times where my homies was going to hit a lick and I denied it to go to the studio and everybody went to jail mm-hmm. or somebody got killed. You know, so music was always my life. Yeah. 
So tell me about the deal. You said something about the deal. How did that go? Well, okay, speak, uh, when I was signed, mm -hmm. uh, I was I signed the free bands. Like I was think it was about two years ago. Oh, so you signed yeah, I was the free signed bands. In the future. Uh, man, it was a great experience. Okay, you know, so tell, like, let's talk about like that experience and when you got signed and so forth. Let's, let's talk all, about the all, beginning. Uh, all situations don't work out. Mm -hmm. You know, like even with relationships, you yeah. can date a girl, it don't work out. Yeah. You know, so like. I look at it like that, like it was a relationship that didn't work out, but it was beneficial and it it, 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 it grew me as an artist. Yeah. Like to be around somebody as talented as future, you know, and, mm -hmm. and to give him my energy and receive his energy. And, you know, I went on tour with him, opened up every show on the Purple Rain tour. Oh, come on, how was so, that experience? Yeah, that's, that was a great experience. Yeah. You know, like- You got just, some wild stories? Yeah, man, I had- Can we get one? trying to lick my face. Ooh, <laughs> give me, give me, give me, give me. <laughs> so we like stories, we like stories here, you know, at Spinrilla. Give us a, a good story that you can remember, uh, you know, being on that tour. Just with I, you. I, I can't even, my my favorite times was when I was shooting dice. You know, those were my favorite times. I love shooting dice. Yeah, <laughs> like we could put out after this. Okay, you know? <laughs> yeah, gonna do our thing. Nah, but when when I was on tour with Future, I was engaged, so I wasn't really doing much. He was focused. Yeah, like I was so focused. How, how hard is that to be like? Oh, I got, engaged, but the temptation got to oh, be man, crazy. Oh man, it was cra it was crazy. But like my homeboy used to be like, "Bro, you lame, bro. You got all these girls going crazy over you." But I was so tunnel vision on being a good man at that point, you know, like, cause I had that played my whole life. Yeah. You know, I had that played in the streets, dealt with different women my whole life. So it was just like, man, I'm finally giving myself the chance to settle down and focus on one person, you know? And my nephew, before he passed, he had told me like, I look up to you, you're my idol. Mm -hmm. You know, and I looked at my life and I said, man, I might have messed with different women. How am I your idol? Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? So I tried to restructure my life to make it better. Yeah. To be like, okay, now I got to be an example for him to actually look up to, right. even though he gone. Right. You know, so I, I, I took that route, you know? Mm -hmm. and. You know, it didn't work. You know, but I still do you look since it done, since since it didn't work. Do you look back and be like, "Damn, I should have acted a fool," or you like, "Well, you know what? I found myself that I can be a good man." I, I am like actually still focused on being a good man. I haven't dated since two years ago. Like been in a relationship. So you ain't dating? Yeah, nah, I ain't dating. You take nobody. nobody on a date. Nah, I ain't doing no date. Like, I, I went out the other day, you know, just on some, you know, yeah. Dating, but like, I ain't went on no real dates and just, you mm -hmm. know, like tried to explore my options because like I said, the reason for making do better is because how women are right now. Uh -huh. Majority of women are broken. Mm -hmm. They they then got drugged through the mud by shouting them. Yeah. You know. <laughs> or they they at a stressful point in their life to where they need you so much they can't focus on love you. They focused on how much you can spend and how can you help. Mm -hmm. You feel what I'm saying? So yeah. like so right now it's just like the dating scene ugly, right? Mm -hmm. You know, so you just cool, so you I'm ain't bought cool nobody. Like, you just, if if I if I pretty. if I fall into love, yeah, <laughs> it gonna have to find me. Nah, man. I ain't out here like, hey love, you down there. <laughs> Yeah. Come here. Yeah. Try holler at you, man. You got that fun. If it come, it come. If you wanna cross it. Come. Hold on. Hey, do we do we need to turn on my spin really though? Or are we gonna keep it up? Do we come on man? My, I got something on, man. We can have this good ass story. Hey, shit me. Shit. Ah. Yeah, wrong. Yeah, here we go. We we good. We looking good. My bad. We back on. You know what I'm saying? Man, me and my boy Donald be having all these good ass stories and shit. I don't forgot to turn my spin back on. But we back, we still good, we still good. So tell me about uh, this new project about to come out. When is it coming out? When we when, drop it, OG. When we drop it? When, when, when the project coming out? Is it gonna be today? We just, we just waiting to drop it. Oh, so it could be today. So we can do exclusively today. Man, let's we'll, drop it today. We we'll drop it today? Yeah, I think we're gonna drop it. The team, we gonna be able to drop it today, behind the scene. We good? Drop it, drop it today. On the calendar. Yeah. All right, it's on the calendar. <laughs> this is the first time it's ever happened. Hey, See, man, listen. Day. We ain't never did this before. Exclusively on Spin Rilla. Hey, man, exclusively on Spin Rilla, man. Just kind of get them some encouraging words and just keep them going. I just made a post on Instagram. Okay. It's just like, I be strictly trying to give back to the artists. 
Cause like I told, like remember when I said I was at the open mics and I didn't have much clothes or much shoes. Yeah. You know, and I and I just posted on my page. I said I look back at that moment mm -hmm. and I say every time that I had the money in my pocket to buy clothes and shoes, I never bought it. Yeah. I always was like, man, I gotta pay for some studio time. Man, I gotta uh, go to this open mic. Mm -hmm. Man, I gotta get me some more headphones. Uh, you know, anything for my craft. Yeah. You know, you feel what I'm saying? And I feel like artists, we try to focus on our image first. Yeah. Like, we go spend $1,200 on some shoes as soon as we get $1,200. That is fake. You know? Yeah. We, we, we'll go we'll go buy a chain before we buy a car. That is fake. You know, yeah. Not me. I'm just speaking. Yeah. In, you, know, you feel what I'm saying? Mm. But I did mine's different. Uh -huh. I, I spent all my money into my craft, and now... I'm spending ten thousand dollars on come on two, two numbers. Hey, man, hey. You feel what hey, I'm saying? Come on, you gotta and bless yourself. And now I'm spending twelve hundred dollars on shoes, you yeah. know. But I master my craft first. Yeah. So like just the other artists, like focus on mastering your craft and 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 bettering your music and spending your money on your your product. Yeah. Cause you don't wanna buy no chips that's perfectly packaged and then you eat one and be like, yeah. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> so you can be fresh, but then you put your music out and they be like, it's horrible. Who well, are you recording? Fact. Okay. You got you got pay twenty dollars out because you didn't spend twelve hundred on your shoes. Yeah. So it's just like man, invest in invest yourself. in yourself first. Man, come on, man. The image gonna get done. Hey, y'all know what it is. It's your boy Old Mill underscore Two Cup Mill. I'm rocking with my boy Lil Donald. Lil Donald, come on now. Hey man, we out here just kicking it, feeling ourselves. Everybody need to have a Merry Christmas. Invest in yourself. Don't do what I do. If I got $1,200, i am probably going to spend it up and hope to get it again. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Hey, we out. See, he already made it. <laughs>